This is not your typical summer camp. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Instead of roasting marshmallows, these high schoolers at Princeton University's AI for All camp are programming drones. There it is. Using artificial intelligence. Stay there, stay there. So what is this? This is the um, drone simulation. You all learned all of this just in the past three weeks. Yes, yes. we did. It's mm -hmm. incredible. Here, they learn how robots move and think, and even teach drones how to map out areas on their own. So they can do things like monitor forest fires in places that humans can't reach. We use satellite imagery to detect certain like illegal mining activities. It all started back in 2015 at Stanford University as a way to close the gender gap in the artificial intelligence field. Now it's designed to encourage women and students of color, reaching more than a dozen college and university campuses across the country last year. There's a lot of fear around AI right now, and this is part of what's driving a lot of people away. They don't see role models that look like them. They, they don't have a peer support network within this field. So, and what we try to do is sort of address all of this. We try to demystify some of this technology and reduce some of the fear. And in a data-driven industry, the data is striking. Job postings for generative AI have increased more than 540% in the last three years. But industry-wide, women make up just 30% of AI workers. Do you see a lot of other women who, who look like you, who look like me? Do you see a lot of women of color? Not a lot. I wish there was more. And it's a field where people of color are dramatically underrepresented, a trend these students say they plan to break. What would you say to other young women, other people of color, who may be hesitant to learn about this space? Don't be intimidated and be open-minded to learn new things. To be curious? Yes. A new generation changing the technology that's changing the world. <laughs> oh. Don't be intimidated. Mm -hmm. Since it started back in 2015, AI for All has helped more than 1,600 high school students across the country. And what's even better, the program has expanded to include college students, making that pathway to diversity in the AI industry even stronger. In fact, they hope by next year to recruit applicants from every single college in the country. It's a great idea. Cool. It's a great idea. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank you, Morgan. Thank, Thank you, you, Morgan. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.